Hi everybody and welcome to the Scott Show. This is the 102550 Show. We are super excited, uh, probably more than excited to be here tonight. And we're talking about 102550 Homeless Project. We are working so hard on getting things uh, happening, rolling, and the like. And we're going to make things happen tonight. We have a big announcement coming. Um, really super excited um, and I just can't wait to tell you guys what's going on. In fact, I'm podcasting two minutes early and I'm not even at nine o'clock yet. We just hit nine o'clock and we're going to be announcing what we got coming up here soon. <clears throat> I do want to apologize first because I have a little bit of a cold. Um, I'm getting over it, but the sniffles are still there. So, you know, oh well, it happens. I do want to say thank you to all the people who have been uh, paying attention to our uh, 102550 YouTube. We are 10% of the way there, maybe even 11% of the way there to our 10,000 view goal. Uh, We're going to be adding a whole bunch more videos, including our top 8 of the 1980s, which was announced for Monday, uh, last month, or this Monday, but... It had to be canceled due to the fact that I just wasn't feeling good. And it will be coming up here shortly. Those are just videos to, to get us out there. Uh, have a little bit of fun with life. And then it makes 10 25 50 money. So that's why we do what we do here on the Scott Show with the 10 25 50 Homeless Project. We love what we do. We're excited about it every single day. And we're excited we can bring you really fun stuff. Now, I do have to say... Lots of announcement, lots of things going on. As you guys know, um, on the 102550 show before, we challenged the Great uh, it was the Great Lakes Valley Conference, uh, home of UW Parkside in Wisconsin, which we're, uh, we're very super excited. We heard back from a few of those folks. And we are excited today to challenge again another conference. And we're going to give it up here today. We're going to challenge the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. Division II Football Conference. We're challenging them in the College Challenge. So that's what's going on. It's really super exciting. We got the University of Alaska, Fairbanks, Acreage, uh, Central Washington, uh, Concordia and Portland, uh, Montana and Billings. Uh, the Southwest Nazarene University in Ohio, in Idaho, sorry, uh, St. Martin's University, uh, Seattle uh, Pacific University, Simon Fraser University. However, they are in British Columbia, so if they want to get involved, that's cool. But um, you know, we wanted to challenge a team, a uh, conference out west, which is what we did. We also have Western Oregon and Western Washington University. These universities have been challenged to be a part of our um, college challenge, and they will be notified, and it will be exciting uh, if we can get some of these schools involved. And uh, We're trying to work with the universities. These are the thinking tanks of society right now, and we're just super excited we can get that done. But that's not the big news, folks, because the big news is 102550 is announcing today that we are starting a new initiative called Star Cities. And what Star Cities are is they are cities in the United States that we pay attention to and we have we have events in these cities. We go to them once a year, which I will be visiting each and every one of these cities. I'm really super excited because all across the United States we'll be making goals to uh Go to all of these cities over 2018. So I'm going to announce what these cities are. And they will be on the website as soon as possible. The new star cities. And I do apologize again for this cold. As uh, as I was saying. Star cities are the new initiative to just get involved. Have some fun. And make sure that these 10 cities... Um, have 102550 people there, um, which we are going to be working diligently to get people excited about uh, what's going on in their hometown. We're going to be working on the all of their committees. We will have local-based committees for each one of these. So 
that's really super exciting, and I'm pumped up. They might even get their own website. Um, I know that the state sites will be up soon, so we might uh, integrate that in with the Star Cities. But I will announce the 10 Star Cities for 10, 25, 50, and I, I just can't be uh, more happy about this new initiative that we got going on and the fact that we have 10 Star Cities. One of them is including one of the schools that I just announced as um, on, on the list from the College Challenge. And that first city is Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon is a city that we will be visiting. Um, I, I do not know when. Uh, I do not have any solidified uh, ideas on visiting any of these with the exception of one. And you guys might know, I might have given that away, but oh well. Portland, Oregon is number one of the 10, 25, 50 star cities. Milwaukee, Wisconsin is number two, so I'll be heading down to Milwaukee, Wisconsin and visiting the great people down there, probably trying some beer and having some good times. Uh, all these cities will be pushed big time. We will be working with their uh, groups and city councils and homeless uh, people that are there in all walks of life. So we'll be working with everybody that we can, uh, from shelters to, to the people on the streets. Because we need to figure out what we can do to get them off the streets. Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm going to be in North Carolina, baby. And the game plan with that is I'm going to try to tag team that with some kind of Mid-Atlantic wrestling thing, because I'm a big wrestling fan. And some of these will also be tag teamed with 5Ks or walks. Um, that I will be taking. Like, when I go to Colorado, I'll probably go from there to Oregon or whatever. Um, Kansas City, Missouri is another one, and I am really super excited that Kansas City got on the list. Uh, it was kind of a... Uh, coming up with this list was very random. So, just a heads up. It wasn't something that we just like, oh yeah, boom, 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 we're working in these cities. It was very random. I wanted to be fair to everybody, every state. And so we picked these 10. So Portland, Oregon, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Charlotte, North Carolina, Kansas City, Missouri, and Tulsa, Oklahoma is the fifth one. We have 10. Tulsa, Oklahoma uh, will be a really exciting adventure for me as I get to go a little bit south and visit Tulsa. And then we'll be in Anaheim, California. And the minute that we got this one on the list, um... You know, that folks, if you've listened to the 102550 show before, you know that we have some stuff going on in Anaheim. And so that will be an exciting adventure, and I cannot wait to get there. And again, this was random, so Anaheim got picked, and I was really excited to see it on the list. The next one is Newark, New Jersey, and I was really uh, really happy to see this. Um, I do know that the Senator Corgi Booker is first the mayor of Newark, uh, the mayor of Newark, New Jersey. Um, and then he became a senator. So I can't wait to go there. Reno, Nevada is also on the list. Uh, that would be a very interesting place to be. Never been to Nevada, so I'm looking forward to that. Baton Rouge, Louisiana is on the list also, and I cannot wait to go down to Louisiana. That might be tag-teamed with the run that I will do with the Shreveport Boys Rescue Mission uh, next year. I do plan on doing that run. And having a good time down in Baton Rouge and in uh, Shreveport. And then the final one is Boston, Massachusetts. I can't even say that because of my cold. Uh, but in Boston, we will be there in February for the winter walk. I'm really excited about that. And it is one of the 102550 star cities uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, I will be pushing all of the cities and working... Uh, to get people involved in each one of them. My plan, my goal, uh, is to have offices and have places where we can do work and get people and get volunteers, street teams, stuff like that, all across the country. And these 10 cities will be uh, highlighted as the first uh, the first 10 star cities that we have and if uh, in January of 2018, if this is good, if this works, we will be adding more. We would like to do that every quarter, um, add some more star cities. And we're going to let these 10 go for uh, until 
January of 2018, and then we will announce uh, 10 more star cities. Of course, I'm still going to be working in every other state, so don't think that I'm going to uh, be neglecting of your states. If uh, you don't think that your areas are covered enough, uh, let me know in the comments section. We are on 102550.com or 102550.net. We are at youtube.com. It's actually uh, tinyurl.com slash 102550 to get the really easy link to the 102550 website. Uh, it's 102550.net. So you guys can check that out anytime. We're going to be updating like crazy people now that I feel a little bit better. And we are having a blast. So I do want to say those 10 star cities, uh, they will be uh, worked on over the next week. And we will have highlights of what we're doing for the star cities. They will have their own uh, Slack page. They will have their own um, message board on the message board one. So, folks, I'm really super excited. We're also going to be doing some stuff with Patreon on these. Um, so, that's an extra plan of how we can get involved, what's going on. We want to focus on uh, the art in the city. We want to focus on the people. And, of course, we want to focus on ending homelessness, which is the overall plan. But we want to make these cities explode. We want to find out what's going on in there and make things happen and that's what we're going to do in those 10 cities Jan uh, january 2018 we will announce 10 more and i'm going to be visiting all across the country i do plan on going to nashville tennessee this year uh, that's a new one and i have not talked to too many people about going to nashville but uh that is my plan to go to nashville tennessee and i do when i'm in nashville and i see where it is i do want to go to alabama uh just so i can say i've been to alabama Roll tied on that one. If you guys uh, know what I'm saying, for all my Alabama fans, roll tied. All right, so 102550 is rolling so great. We're doing awesome stuff. Uh, we're making uh, really good strides to end homelessness. What we're trying to do, folks, uh, we're trying to build up these national committees, and we're going to be rolling out some really great things uh, coming up here in the next few weeks with the committees. We need 435 people to join our education or our political education committee. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with each individual elected official. And we have some extra stuff coming up here. In 2018, we have elections and we'll be electing new senators and representatives. So we're going to be highlighting those representatives that are up and those races that are up, we're going to be doing it uh, just for you guys. So we're going to be doing it state by state. So that will be really exciting. We're actually going to do that on YouTube. So we will highlight what's going on state by state with your guys' elections. And we'll just see what's going on there. I'm really super excited to get more involved with the election cycle because that's one thing I enjoy. But... Then we can move forward and say, okay, what are you guys doing about ending homelessness? So we will be sending out a letter to each one of the mayors in the star cities, uh, figuring out what their game plan is as well. So we're going we're gonna to get politically involved in a non-profit way, which means we're not going to be endorsing any candidates or um, sending our support to anybody. I do want to say that the 102550 Homeless Project has a uh, Twitter it's at twitter.com slash 102550. That's cool. That's awesome. I personally have one which is not connected to the 102550 Homeless Project. If you do see any of my political posts in there or political posts on Facebook, they are all mine. I do not post them to the 102550 page. I do have my own theories and thoughts and everything else. And I will share them on the Scott Show but I will not share them on the 102550 show. So I'm going to keep these a little bit separate in what we do. I know that we have a president that not everybody likes. Uh, but I will not base anything on what he, um, the party that he is in. I will only base it on what he says and does in the homeless world realm. Uh, when it comes to budgets, when it comes to the fact that I remember this. I have not found this on, on anything. He did say something about 
making sure that people did not sleep on the streets. Now, is he going to make that happen? Who knows? Congress? Who knows what Congress is going to do? Uh, you know, Senator Sanders just put this uh, Medicare for All thing out there. It's only got one-third of the Senate Democrats, and it does not even have the Speaker of the House, or the former Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, with this. So, we don't know what we're doing on that. We will be coming out with more stuff, including we will be coming out with shows for the committees. So every two weeks you'll get a committee show. Um, that will be a great way for us to get more involved and get out there to talk about what we're doing. I want to first build up the committee. So we'll be starting those at the same time that we start our regional shows, which will be really super exciting. We're going to be talking about 10 states, um, maybe maybe 5 states or 10 states in one show. Just talking about what's going on. I do want to give a shout out, special shout out to the good people of Colorado Springs, Colorado, and their rescue mission. Uh, the place looks beautiful. I can't wait to visit and see their new place uh, that they got going on. It's really super exciting. Um, yeah, big time pumped up about that. So there you go. All right, folks, I know I talked a little bit uh, longer than I normally do on the Scott Show. When we do um, our shows after we get our 10,000, I might be doing longer shows. We might have guests or whatever. Uh, but I want to do shorter shows until we get to 10,000 so you guys can listen to more of them because that's what we want to do. And we want to hang out here on the Scott Show with the Scott Show Wake Up Call and the 102550 Show. I thank you guys so very much. I'm super excited about Star City. Can't wait to get uh, involved with that and get all these other people involved with it and just have a whole bunch of fun. That's what I'm looking forward to. I hope you look forward to the same. And we'll catch you guys real soon here on the 102550 Show. My name is Scott, and thank you for listening.